Little by little, piece by piece, I take back what's been stolen from me. Little by little, piece by piece, until I'm complete. on you and you got no clue this is the glamorous side of getting ready for a show right <laughs> what I'm supposed to do I can't help That's what happens when you clean up. <laughs> we've got fabric, we've got paper. Um, I cut up old paintings I'm not happy with and incorporate those. Wrapping paper, all kinds of stuff. This little glue stick. Use glue in the hole. Back side of this thin piece or small pieces are yeah. better to use yeah. these with. And you can just put it anywhere. Ooh. Okay. And All right. then you use, okay now, Yeah. it's okay. best to do this type of work, honestly, on wood. Yeah. Okay, because see, you can yeah. see where it dimples. Yeah, yeah. That's and all right, that's gonna be part of the thing. Yeah. Dimpling. We like dimpling. We we have dimpling. We <laughs> have dimpling all over. <laughs> Yay for dimpling. Dimpling is good. <laughs> Show us your dimples. I am going to put gloves on now. Look, you got the paper towels. <laughs> That's my favorite thing to do is wipe up paint, yeah. spray it with a water bottle, Drip that acrylic paint, this fluid yeah, stuff, yeah. and turn it, spray it, flatten it out, let it dry, and the following day, it's almost, it's not like felt, but it changes the texture of it. Oh, it's wow. really cool. Wow. I think what I'm going to do, because see, this is a little overwhelming for me to see this much stuff. Yeah. If I, you know, for the first time Take, in. Yeah. But, uh, but here's, here's what, here's what is catching my eye. Mm-hmm. 
is this little bag of yes. little things yes. that you put away. That's it. So and I'm that's what I generally will give to each student. Oh! So here's something to just start with. Don't even think. Just play stuff. Don't even think. Yeah. You got five minutes. <laughs> yeah. You know, actually, that is the thing, is not overthinking. Mm -hmm. Just do. Yep. Don't think. Yep. I don't know how to draw. So you don't have to draw. You don't have to draw. Yep. Some students just take the bubble wrap and glue that on. Mm -hmm. People, a lot of the artists are not here. Hope they'll be here tomorrow. feeling like I want to do something else but okay do you want a clean slate no no I mean I want to I want to start I want to start doing that stuff oh okay yeah um, I think I need one more thing right here. here I put that white paint on brushed it and it was like too thick so I just took my spray bottle went out to the sink you know, sprayed it all down and just blotted it oh, so that I got just yeah. a very light. Yeah, more of what you were kind of looking yeah, for. Yeah. Okay. These are the little tricks. That's right. That you learn. And and you just learn by doing from it. making mistakes mm -hmm. because that dancer that you like out in the hallway, mm -hmm. that started out. I thought, okay, I'm gonna step up my game and buy some fluorescent colors, and I got this fluorescent orange. Mm -hmm. And I put that down, and I was like, oh, oh my God. <laughs> you know, it was like 36 by 36, a very expensive canvas. I just messed the whole thing up. So I'm taking my water and like mad trying to get it off because water is a good eraser while it's still wet. Well, I was able to smooth it out enough so that it wasn't glaring. But then it looked to me like a huge peony oh. flower. Yeah. Yes. Okay. And I thought, well, I'm not really into doing flowers, at least not then. So I just kept turning it around and looking at it and squinting and doing all those tricks that they tell you to do. And I thought, this looks like it could be skirts of a ballerina. You know, so it's like, again, it's things emerge if you just keep looking at it differently. Yes, yes, yes. And that's the thing, not judging it like, you know. This is a trash. <laughs> right, right, right. And still that might happen and then you yeah. come across it a little bit later and you see something, you know, it's kind of like you're walking by, oh, wait a minute. And I've been known to take paintings five years later off of a wall. And have you yep, really? And add something, it's like that needs a little more shadow there. Or I'm still not crazy about this. I'm going to cut it up because I like that passage right there. Yeah. Oh. Well, you know, that's your pillows. I have, I have uh -huh. a pillow. I have a pillow of yours. Which one? Uh, it's a, like a lumbar mm -hmm. one. Mm -hmm. And it's brown. And then it has the, and lots of oranges. Lots of more. Hmm. Yep, 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 yep. 
I don't I'll send you a picture. I'll send you a picture when I get back to my base. This was an original painting. Okay, it looks like this, but yep. it's like that. Mm -hmm. And then this was a um, Jacle copy. And this got distressed from uh, one of the dogs, kind of. And I was like, well, that's ruined. And everyone who's seen it is like, oh, I like that distress. There you go. There you go. <laughs> yeah, so that's the only two left, huh? Yeah. I cherish that pillow. Oh, that's so nice I to do. you still have it. I love it. spending these past few days with you being in art and what the essence that I get is that little by little we are evolving and a lot of it is because we're allowing ourselves to evolve how do you see yourself evolving or have evolved well, we were talking earlier about being visible, becoming visible, little by little, started by joining a community of other artists um, who were encouraging and supporting and made me feel comfortable, mm -hmm. made me feel that I was good enough. And um, I had begun years ago painting very bright colors, uh, in the style of Modigliani, with the swan-like necks and the small lips. And I had been painting those what seemed all my life. It was time for a change. Um, and, and just coming over here and exposing myself to the Guild of Charlotte Artists, um, getting involved in more art shows, just that alone helped me to evolve into something else. Even my color palette has changed. I'm using materials like house paint and uh, stencils. I'm not getting too precious with my materials. Oh, wow. Now that feels like a, uh, uh, has it ever felt scary? Not to scary so much because it's something I've learned along the way. Little it's by little. Little by little, that's right. <laughs> One, um, one mistake, let's call it that, there are no such things because one thing leads to another. If I don't like something, I can cover over it. It's only paint or uh, adding modeling paste for texture. These are the little things that helped me to evolve into the next level, which uh, became more about emerging figures, letting the paint um, kind of dictate what, what I see. Yeah. It takes a lot of trust. 
takes a lot of trust to just put the paint on there or the whatever medium that you're doing. Mm -hmm. And working, you know, I work by myself. I don't share my space with anyone. So I don't get distracted. Oh, that's a biggie. That's a real big one for that's me. That's a biggie. You have to uh, to find yourself uh, does require yeah, solitude. Yeah, solitary. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And then back out into the community, right? And back out into the community yeah. when I have my my body of work. Yeah. Um, which I, I am happy to say is very original. No one does what I'm doing. Um, landscapes are extremely popular here. Um, and because I wasn't doing landscapes, I, I questioned myself. Maybe I'm oh, not marketing. Right. But then it comes back to what's, what's in the heart. You know, it's like I can't be worried about money and if I'm going to sell. I have to just express and let my creativity right. go where it does. And uh, have you found that the more you've lined up with that, the more that you have sold? Not yet, honestly. Okay. I mean, I'm still I'm selling, but the Modigliani ladies, the story portraits, that <laughs> is what I was known for. Mm -hmm. And so some of my artist friends have said, don't let go of that. Right. Keep going with other things, but don't let go of what people know you for. So, well, the, so what I'm hearing is uh, bravery because it's great that people like it, but you are not there anymore. Mm -hmm. You, it would be that security of the money because you know that people like it, and yet your heart is guiding you to a different place. Yeah. Well, it's like the musician who's having a concert presenting their new work, but the people who love the old stuff are going and they're disappointed because, well, what about this one and this one? But when they give it a, an open listening, right. it's like, this is some pretty good stuff. Right, right. If they, uh, allowing the artist to grow, Exactly right, allowing your artists to grow. Yeah, yeah. Only you can give yourself permission to grow. Mm -hmm. Letting go of the fear. You know, it's so interesting when someone does say, you know, don't forget to do you know, what you do. Then I go back to trying it and it's almost forced and so it doesn't work. There you go. It's... Yeah. I yes. mean, honesty is, is the best policy when it comes to your creativity. I love that. I love that. I love that. Yeah. And to understand my work's not for everyone. That's you know? Right. Just like other people's works aren't. That's right. My cup of tea. Thanks once again for hanging out with me, Kindred Spirit. With my good friend and kindred spirit, dude. I can't wait to come back. I can't wait to have you back, Diane. <laughs> I wish I were going on with you. <laughs> well, you can meet me anywhere, as you could, too. <laughs> you want me to come to your house, subscribers? Yay, just let me know. But in the meantime, please comment below, because your comments are what keeps this community going and fresh and um, evolving little by little so thumbs up subscribe if you're still hanging around after all this time <laughs> and um, until we meet next time we're always together and sometimes we hang out <laughs> <laughs>